It's easy to install and set up the economizer from Siemens. The overall process takes about 15 minutes. In this video, we'll show you where the equipment is connected to the controller and how to set the shutoff temperature set points, minimum damper position, optional enthalpy shutoff set points, and optional demand control ventilation level. Before starting the installation, make sure you have the following parts and tools. The controller, two self-tapping screws, and a Phillips screwdriver. First, mount the controller to the sheet metal ductwork or panel using the two self-tapping screws provided. The mounting location must protect the controller from the elements and ultraviolet rays. Note that the auxiliary devices like the sensor wires need to be terminated in quarter-inch female insulated spade connection for quick connection to the controller. The most common economizer control mode is single temperature based with a sensor mounted in the outside air and a sensor mounted in the mixed air streams. For this mode, simply connect the auxiliary equipment to the controller. Connect the signal and common wires of the 10K NTC Type 2 sensor to the outside air and the mixed air inputs. Next, connect the occupancy input from the thermostat to the COM and OCC inputs on the controller. Connect the cooling stages from the thermostat to the controller. Typically, cooling stage 1 is Y1 from the thermostat and Y1 from the RTU. Cooling stage 2 is Y2 from the thermostat and the RTU. Install the correct torque damper actuator for the application. Connect the signal line, common, and power of the spring return damper actuators to the controller. Now apply an external 24 BAC power source to the controller. Select the desired shutoff temperature set point from the dip switches numbered 1 through 6 or use the default value of 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Refer to the user guide for the corresponding temperature set point shutoff value options. Select the desired minimum damper position. If not using the exhaust fan or the demand control ventilation strategy, move those potentiometers to zero. For a standard use of the economizer controller, that's it. However, there are more advanced control strategies the controller can perform. The first strategy is for enthalpy control. The second relates to demand control ventilation. Let's discuss how easy it is to install the economizer controller for these two applications. Make sure the power source is disconnected before installation. The enthalpy control uses combination temperature and humidity sensors. For enthalpy-based control strategies, connect one or two of the combination temperature and humidity sensors to the outside air and return air inputs. Be sure to change the dip switch to differential. Now apply an external 24 BAC power source to the controller. In addition to the temperature shutoff value, you will also select the appropriate BTU value from the A, B, or C dip switches. The second strategy, Demand Control Ventilation, uses a CO2 sensor connected to the controller. For this mode, simply connect the CO2 sensor to the controller to the COM and IAQ inputs. Now apply an external 24 BAC power source to the controller. Adjust the DCV ACT potentiometer to the desired damper position and set the DCV SET potentiometer between the range of 500 and 1500 ppm. Whether you use the economizer for standard applications with enthalpy control or for demand control ventilation, the economizer controller provides you with free cooling and energy cost savings. To learn more about the economizer from Siemens, contact your local Siemens representative or visit Siemens Building Technologies at www.usa.siemens.com slash building technologies. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.